as a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. I just want to experience something else than a black man. <laughs> move on, move on. Like where a horse with blinkers on his day as a bout of sex and then I pull Crap, but it's nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm Douglas. I live in Milnerton. And I'm Shane Kennedy. Stay in Century City. I'm actually a pre owned car salesman. My name's Sarah. I'm the manager of Panama Jacks in the harbour. My name is Lisa. Um, born and bred in Sandrift, and I'm staying in Milnerton now. My name is Dan. Uh, I'm a musician, and I live here in Milnerton. I'm Stuart. Uh, originally from Edinburgh. I've uh, been in the Milnerton area for about 15 years now. And as Eddie said, I've been coming to this pub for about 12 years. And I love it. <laughs> hard times is hard times. Sales is down. Hard price. Everything is down. And yeah, we still, we still, we still sit here and drink. Uh, good company. Good Always good company. Good bands. Good pub. Good friends. Good friends. Always Don't forget friends. that. Don't forget that. Uh, we, we drink at happy hour mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Happy hour finishes, pub empties, I'm playing. I'll tell you what, many years ago I actually worked in this pub. Um, I was a griller in the back and from those years till these years, it still carries on. This place doesn't actually stop. Um, they do have their closing hour, but everybody has a closing hour. We we need to die at times. But I tell you what, the big die is going to come when this country stands up for themselves and says something about what is going on, about our own government saying, we are not lowering interest rates. We are going to hurt. I've traveled the world, I've been there, I've done it. My child, if I could, where I am today, I would take my child now and I would move overseas today. For the education purposes, I would. Which country are you talking about when you say that? Zimbabwe. Oh. <laughs> no, overseas. overseas. I've been to Switzerland, I've been to France. I've been to, no. Okay, been I, to France, I'm been to ball, Switzerland. No. I disagree Europe, with the general. fact of the, the education because Europe. my sister and her husband and her two kids were going to emigrate to Scotland. Now her one son's got special needs and they couldn't cater for him on that side. So that's the reason why they decided to stay here as well, because she's looking at her boys and building a future for her boys. So I disagree. And another thing, the standard of education is lower than what it is, oh, than no. what ours is. Oh, no. Trust oh, me, no. they've done their, they've oh, done no, their no, homework. No, 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 no. Girl, listen, I've been, I've traveled the world. I was born in Greece, raised in France. Then what up in Germany? Have yes, you been to a yes, 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 yes. Germany, France, Italy. Lived in Italy. I've done it all. Done okay, it all. but you have special needs. The, no, I don't have special needs. See, I don't have special needs. See, that, that's where it comes in. If I can in. give anybody the opportunity today to take their children now and move over now and get the better education that they can get, they must do it. It's winter there now. Eh? I disagree. I totally disagree. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> they must do it. No, it doesn't matter. The education overseas is ten times better than what it is in South Africa. Ten times better. Even I would disagree with that because, and I come from there. I don't think the education is any better over there than it is here. Yeah, she would Ten times better. Yeah. She would take a child and leave. Yes. But you were born in Greece, so what's stopping you? Raised in Germany, went to a French school. I would easily go. Easily but you were go. born in Greece. Raised in Germany, went to a French school. So you can't leave any time? No, I can't because I've got a child here now. Oh. But you are Greek? Greece, raised in Germany, went to a French school, yes. We're going through a bit of a bad spell with all our sport. We get Jake White back, we're back in the saddle again. I agree with you. I agree with you. Jake, yeah. Jake. I agree Jake. with you. Today, they have announced the best Springbok team ever. I can tell you that right now. They have announced the best Springbok team that we will ever have. And they're going to change the name. The emblem. The emblem. The name. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
But the Springbok team that we will have today will stand for it. I promise you the best Springbok team we have ever had is the Springbok team. The best. Telling you. I, I personally I personally think that the, the, the older guys that are playing there now, the more senior acts, will not actually play under anything that does not send Emblem. Springbok. Yeah. Even if they swap it around and they want to yes. have the pro tier and yes. put the little Springbok on the back or have yes. it on the label or something, but it would need to be there somewhere, otherwise I don't think the guys would actually play yes. under anything else. Mm. Most definitely, um, same goes for the pro tiers. They, they, they have their own issues. But whenever there is a new election coming, they start on the sports things, and it's like, hello, change the record, change the record, fast forward the tape. Um, we have had enough of that. We need to get down to real hard issues. Is how are you and I going to sort our lives out? I think it's very important to keep the Springbok. It's, it's rugby. That is what rugby is about in this country, and it's your history. It's your history. You want to take the Springbok emblem away and re replace it with the Protea or the King Protea? Either way. It was the national flower as opposed to the national animal under that era anyway. So, I mean, w w where are they going? Now they're saying SA Rugby does not own the emblem and this and that. And but you know, all of these is... You have to, to, to remember that everybody, your government used to be white. I'm, 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 I'm not biased. I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm just an individual. And I have to look at things from an outsider of, of what can be changed and what doesn't need to be changed. When your government was white, you had the springbok, you had the flag, you had apartheid. And apartheid is a bad omen on South Africa. Now your government is predominantly black. They're not trying to change everything. You don't really have a revolution, so everything is still fine. But you must know that the old flag represents apartheid. The Springbok, tell me one black player that played at that time that's got a Springbok jersey. Harold the Bias? Yes. The Bias, I'm talking about a black guy. I'm not talking about a colored guy, a black person. Me, I'm Julia Mabika. Colored black, it doesn't oh, mean, come on. Colored go. black, come on, you can't change. On. Colored black, he's still colored. You, ca you can't change Don't it. Go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. I'm not cut. Am I colored? Do you only color to you? No. I'm black. No. Don't go there. Colored people so are not you're Indian people. That because because we didn't have a, a black player in those days, it's, it's, it wasn't fair for a colored player in, that, in no, those days. No. I'm trying to say that a lot. I'm not trying. I'm saying. I'm making a point. You don't have to agree with it. Yeah. That a lot of symbols and emblems represented apartheid. And yeah. there might be some serious shit because Springboks was apartheid. You know, Bruce Fordas, I think, is one of the people that refused to run uh, for South Africa because of apartheid, because he was going to first university. A lot of people fought and a lot of people lost their lives mm -hmm. because of apartheid. We might not know it because we didn't participate in that fight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it, it didn't affect me as a person and it didn't affect you as a person, but it affected a lot of other people. And most of those people went to exile and now they're in the government, including some white people. So a lot of things represent apartheid. That's the springbok. That's the flag. That's okay. the stem. Why are you holding it against yourself now, though? Why, no, I'm not. Why, why is I'm not. a big issue for you now, though? <laughs> no, I'm talking about changes. It's not an issue to me. I'm, a, I'm an individual. I've got a job. I'm working. I'm getting paid. I'm happy. I've got, a, I've got children. I've got a good house. My kids are going to good school. So I am very fortunate. I'm just talking in general. You were the lucky. Yeah, exactly. Me and you, we were the lucky ones. We have that. But but why hold but why hold it against yourself now? No, I'm not because of against me or you. I'm saying, listen to me. Listen, what yeah. opening is. I'm just yeah. saying that some changes we might not see it because it doesn't affect us. Some changes are necessary, like changing the flag of South Africa. Any country that changes and becomes a republic will change their flag. They will change street names. They will change their currency. They will. You don't believe the country changes currency. We used to have a rent. How was our old rent? How's our new rent? We don't have, you know what I mean? There's a lot of money we don't have anymore. That has changed. Our two rent was, everything changes. 
You never had Africa Bora on your, your thing. Now it's changed. Some things are necessary for change to, to motivate people to say, look, we are one. Yeah. That's it. I'm not holding it against you or me. Okay, yeah. okay. Julia, so what? I, okay, I agree, so with, I, I agree with both of you on what you guys are saying. Pull it down to one, one sentence now. What, what, what is it that you want to say? What, pull it down to one sentence. I've said it. What if you don't it? understand it, no, I don't no, no. Know. Pull it down to one sentence. I said some things. So, no, there's no one sentence. Okay, pull it down to one sentence. What is it that you want to tell us? One sentence. How long Just you want it to? How many words? It doesn't matter. <laughs> pull it down. To Listen one. to me. Okay. Don't. What you're arguing. You, I'm taking. I'm what telling is it that you a statement. You want to say? And you want to argue with me? I'm telling you. I'm this. not arguing with you. Some what is it that you want to say? Pull it down. You've heard your say now, pull it down. Okay, summarize it. So I'm finished. Okay, so summarize it. Summarize it to one sentence now. In one sentence. Doesn't matter how long it is. Summarize it. Okay. What is it? Some changes are necessary for everybody. That's my sentence. Some changes are? Okay. Okay. So if everybody could support the spring market, which has won two World Cups, with two different teams in mm. two different eras. Mm. The first team that won it was more in, was closer to the apartheid springbok, mm. as opposed to the second team that won it, which was a new generation, yes. multi-color rainbow team under the springbok emblem and won it. The whole country shouted springbok. They didn't shout Protea, they didn't shout SA, they shouted Boca. Okay. You know, you know, you know what you the, know, problem you, the problem is? The problem is that when we communicate as, as different race people in South Africa, this is where our whole country is going wrong. We misunderstand each other. Yeah, no, when course. I say something, so you, 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 you don't hear me very, very good. the way I'm saying it. When right. you hear and this is where the conflict becomes. So we, we keep misunderstanding each other. Thing, but we argue That's on right. it. But you we are agreeing. We you say something so we end up and you guys assume it's wrong. You can see, eventually you change your channel. Nobody's taking interest exactly. in politics because nobody understands exactly. each other. There is only so, it's like a couple that doesn't get along anymore. Exactly. As soon as you say boo, she says what? Exactly. What? You say get something. Get the pen. We say something, it's all a one big misunderstanding. But hey. Because we don't listen. Maybe that's why. We all don't listen if to each listen. other. We don't compromise with each other. And because you say one thing, we say one thing. We don't, we can't learn to get, we can't live together. together, we can't grow together because you have one thing to say, we have one thing to say, that's why. This is what the problem is. This is the problem. We can't live together. If we, we can, can live just together. We can't. <laughs> we Julia, do you, want, do, you want to, do you want to shout Boca for the next 10 years? I've shouted Boca all my life. Well, what I'm saying is, you do, you want to, do you want to carry you, on shouting Boca? If they're winning. Go, go. <laughs> If they keep winning, if they're winning, exactly. And I'm not sitting at the wrong part of the city. Exactly. I'm with a green jersey. Exactly. <laughs> then I'm happy to shout, but and otherwise. Salute. 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 In ten years' time, as I am now. Hey, that's a nice one, eh? My personal dream. I want to be a rock and roll star. Still, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Next. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can decide Jim, being system? with me. Hey. So. Okay. My personal dream is to be a successful businesswoman because it's something that I'm trying to do in the pipeline. But ideally, I just want to be happy. My dream is to become a forensic pathologist, to be able to help the people out there, to know where their loved ones have come and gone, and to be able to give them peace of mind. My dream is just to see the motor industry get back to where it was, let's sell cars, let's all make money, let's all be happy. And that's pretty much what it is. Huh? <laughs> Oh, that's it. This is my dream. Just to be happy. That's Let's all as a people come together. We've got to learn to live with each other and understand each other.
Not voting. If we want to build our nation, the problem with the Somalians just want to experience something else than a black man. <laughs> on move be like a, a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say I was about to have Corrupt sex and then I pulled crap, up. but it's nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm Douglas. I live in Monaton. I'm Shane Kennedy. Stein Century City. We still sit here and drink. Uh, good company. Good Always good company. Good bands. Good pub. Good friends. Good friends. Always Don't forget friends. that. Don't forget that. Um, we, we drink a happy hour mostly. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> happy hour finishes, pub empties. I'm playing. I'm actually a pre-owned car salesman. My name's Sarah. I'm the manager of Panama Jacks in the harbour. My name is Lisa. I'm born and bred in Sandrift and I'm staying in Milnerton now. My name is Dan. Uh, I'm a musician and I live here in Milnerton. I'm Stuart. Uh, originally from Edinburgh, I've uh, been in... I'll tell you what, many years ago I actually worked in this pub. Um, I was a griller in the back and from those years till these years, it still carries on. This place doesn't actually stop. Um, they do... I've been in area for about 15 years now and as Eddie said, <laughs> I've been coming to this pub for about 12 years, and I love it. <laughs> hard times is hard times, sales is down, everything is down, and yeah, we still, we still 